Well, Houston, we have our first problem. You notice there's a big difference here. If you have been following along, I've been working on my suspension, lowered the front end and the rear. I also upgraded the front to disc brakes. So I got that pretty much all settled out. I needed to figure out what my stance was gonna be. I figured that out. Um, I originally went down a little too low and I didn't have enough clearance on my front tires. So they would have rubbed, I'm pretty sure. I mean, there was like an, an inch maybe of clearance. So as soon as somebody sits in the car, especially two people, it was basically just gonna rub. Um, and if not, if I hit, hit a bump, it was gonna, it was gonna hit. So, um, so I decided to go back up about two inches in the front and then the rear, I also lowered it too much. So I went back up in the rear about an inch and uh, I'll show you what that looks like. But today, I got something new, so let's check it out. All right, so what did we get? Let's crack open this box. Got some peanuts in here. Styrofoam peanuts, that is. And that's it. Oh yeah, but this is it right here. Wolfsburg West, nice little box that's in. Open this box up, let's see what's inside. Ooh wee, look at that. Wow. Nice, new, shiny mirror. Plastic is still good. Well, it's brand new, so <laughs> it's supposed to be good, but let's open it up. Give you all a closer look. Wow, look at that. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice and tight, this part right here. So let's go ahead and uh, put this bad boy on. It's got the little flip here for when someone's driving with their lights behind you, you can flip that switch. Let's get it. Well, you know how the saying goes, out with the old, in with the new. If I could figure out how to take it off. Just turn it. Oh, look, you can adjust it right here. Yeah, this looks a little different from the one I got. Let's check. Well, Houston, we have our first problem. All right. Well, you notice there's a big difference here. Um, so I was just looking at this. The, this part is the same. So it'll fit in my car, but I don't know if it's going to impact my visibility in the back because it's not going to reach down low enough. So that could be one issue, but I was just looking at this and this part is tore up. The base is good, but it's actually like a softer plastic. I can clean this up, but, but this is bad. So maybe I could take this off and put it on here. I don't know. I paid like 65 bucks for this thing, I think. Well, I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to break it. All right, so it was 55 bucks plus $7 shipping and $4. Taxes came out to 67.51. There's a 15% restocking fee if I send it back within 30 days. So I'm going to see if I can just try to make this work. I'm going to save this so I think it's that part is the same. It's about the same uh, width and everything. So that's the same. All right, well, I got that part off. Um, I'm thinking they should just sell this part because I might be able to pop it on here. I don't know, we'll see. Um, let me let me clean this up and see how clean I can get it. If I can't get it clean, I'll probably just use that one, but I'll try to give this one a clean. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. Can I take this off? Yes, I can. 
Now, the real question is, will I be able to get it on to the new one? Ooh, that's the question. Well, this part is good. I might have myself a brand new mirror. So if anybody's interested in buying just this part, let me know. It's kind of hard to see, but there's uh, a, like a grain in this pat, a grain pattern in here, and this helps get into the those cracks that grain with the rag you wouldn't be able to get in there so this helps really to get deep clean use this for your interior on your car I already did this side this side came out pretty good Now the real test, this one year only <laughs> review mirror. This is from 69 to 70, let's check, 79. So this fits 10 years. This is for one year. And if you have a 68 bus, it doesn't have any plastic. It's just bare metal. So like this stuff here, a bar all the way. And I think it has two screws. So 68 only is uh, a little more pricey these go for about a hundred bucks on the samba 150 depending on the condition so let's see if i just saved myself a hundred bucks or if i just wasted 55 bucks <laughs> victory this thing tried to defeat me but i use this to hold it standing up and I just put all my body weight on this to push it in there that's how much force it took to to get this thing in there so there you go brand new mirror now I just have to clean the base again but boom ready to go baby <laughs> all right now that I got my new mirror let's try to see if I can put it on there's a little adjustment screw right here that goes in and out. So I think I'm gonna have it turned all the way in to mount the mirror and then I'll try to I don't know if it's in there or not. I guess so. But you can see there's like a gap. Well, you probably can't tell on the camera, but there's a slight gap, so this will push it forward and lock it in place. And there we go. Brand new, one year only, 1969 mirror, baby. Forget from the outside. And this is why these things get tore up. It's because they're directly in the sun and there's no sort of um, protection from the sun. So it just, the sun just bakes on that thing. 50 years, 53 years it's lasted. 54 years technically, so yep, there it is. Mm -hmm. 